Welcome back. Um, the last couple of lessons we've been looking at angles in triangles and we're going to continue and finish that today. However, I specifically want to look at isosceles triangles. Okay, now isosceles triangles are special triangles because two of the angles and therefore two of the sides are the same. Okay, and there's one different one. Now on a triangle, you'll notice that you've got your two lines there. Okay, all that means is that these two lines are the same, therefore these two angles are the same. Okay, and what they'll ask you to do is work out a missing angle. Okay, now key facts you need to remember. Okay, angles in any triangle equal 180 degrees. Okay, you must remember that, and if you don't remember that, you need to find a way of remembering that. Okay, so what we've got here, okay. All the angles in the triangle out to 180. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away everything we know. Okay, so we're going to take away 40. Okay, which equals 140 degrees. Okay, now that means that these two angles here, which are the same, okay, add up to 140. Now, if they're the same, what we can do is we can do 140 degrees divided by two because they're the same so we half them and that equals 70 degrees so x equals 70 degrees now if you want to check that if that's 70 in there and that's 70 in there we've got 70 plus 70 plus 40 70 plus 70 is 140 Add 40 is 180, which makes that correct. Okay, so have a look at this one now. Okay, so we're going to start off in exactly the same way. We know that it adds up to 180 degrees, so we're going to write that down. Okay, then what we're going to do, we're going to take away the angle that we're already given. Okay, we're already given that top one, so we're going to take it away to figure out what we what's left. Okay, 180 minus 64 is 116 degrees okay what's the next step then okay what do we do here next okay the next one is the next step is to half whatever we've got okay so we're going to half it so we're going to do 116 degrees we're going to divide it by two and that equals 58 degrees so x equals 58 degrees okay right this one is it an isosceles triangle okay is that one there an isosceles triangle the answer to that is yes it is how do we know it's an isosceles triangle because we've got that there and we've got that there okay to show us that the sides are the same therefore the angles are the same so we're going to deal with it in exactly the same way so we've got 180 degrees Minus what we've already been given. We've already been given 100. Okay, which equals 80 degrees. We then need to half it to work out what one of those angles is. So we're going to do 80 divided by 2, which is 40 degrees. So x equals 40. Okay. Right, last question then. Why is this question different? Okay, there's something different about this question compared to the one above it. Okay, it's still an isosceles triangle because we've still got the marks there. Okay, the difference is is that instead of looking for an angle at the bottom, okay, we're actually looking for an angle at the top. Okay, so we need to change our method ever so slightly. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to do thirty-six degrees now if that's 36 degrees there this here must be 36 degrees for it to be an isosceles triangle so we do 36 plus 36 degrees and that equals 72 degrees so those bottom two angles add up to 72 degrees we're then going to do 180 minus 72 okay because 
angles in a triangle at 180. We've already got 72. We're working out what one more angle is. So we're going to take everything away. And that equals 108 degrees. Okay, so X is 108 degrees. Okay. So key things to remember. First of all, angles in a triangle, in any triangle, add up to 180 degrees. If you're looking for the one of the bottom two, okay, where the, the isosceles angles are, okay, you're going to start with 180 and take away what you've already got. And then whatever that comes out as, you're going to divide by two. Okay, be careful because the isosceles triangle might be on its side, it might be upside down. And if you're given the angles at the bottom of the triangle, you need to work out the top. You need to add up what you've already got and take it away from 180 degrees, okay? Now you've got all these examples to look back at the method on, okay? I'm going to give you some questions to go along with this, so if you've got any issues, let me know. Otherwise, have a good day, guys, okay?